we've seen a lot of celebrities come under fire for appropriating many different cultures. Whether it be 20 years ago or just last week, it's still a scandal nonetheless and we're here to talk about it. Today we're taking a look at the top 10 celebrities accused of cultural appropriation. What's going on guys, I'm your host Bri Room and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Today we're going to take a look at some celebs who have offended people by appropriating their culture. But before we dive into that, make sure you check out this playlist that we've made for you lovelies to enjoy. And with that, let's get on to the video. Starting us off at number 10, Pharrell Williams. The internet was not happy with Pharrell Williams after the launch of his Adidas collab back in 2018. The so called Who Holy line was facing tons of backlash as Pharrell was being accused of cultural appropriation for it. Fans were upset with the launch because they felt like the entire collection was disrespectful to Hinduism and its culture. The collection featured bright colors inspired by the Holy Festival. The festival itself stands to represent the triumph of good over evil and features brightly colored powders as part of the celebration. Fans didn't appreciate the appropriation of their culture for the marketing of shoes. The shoes, fans pointed out, are also made of leather and in the Hindu culture cows are seen as sacred and the use of the animal product combined with the exploitation of the festival left many people up in arms about the whole thing. Coming in at number 9, Rita Ora. Rita's fans started accusing the singer of blackfishing and cultural appropriation after they found out that Rita isn't actually black, though many people thought she was. For a long time, Rita was seen wearing braids and an afro, and most people assumed that she was at least mixed or had some black ancestry. Come to find out that both of her parents are white Albanians. There was a lot of backlash against Rita because many people felt tricked. They were upset that she pretended to be a different race and accused her of appropriating black culture. Other people defended Rita saying that she never explicitly spoke out about her race and that she wasn't trying to offend anyone or any culture for that matter. Pictures of a young Rita came out to prove that she never altered her image to look like another race, but some fans were still not buying it, asking for an apology. In at number 8, Taylor Swift. After releasing her music video to her song Shake It Off back in 2014, the comment section of the video was on fire. Many fans were not happy with her portrayal of black culture in the video. The portion of the music video that featured hip hop culture was torn apart by angry fans who were upset about the way it was presented. The black hip hop culture in the video was mocked with its use of short shorts and thick gold chains as some fans pointed out. People were angry with the depiction because they felt like the true heart and soul of this culture was torn apart and appropriated by Taylor. Fans also pointed out that the video's other genres like ballet featured primarily white dancers while the hip hop section featured primarily black dancers. This made fans draw connections to the appropriation in that section of the video and demanded accountability. At number 7, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande was accused of cultural appropriation following the launch of her merch for her album Thank You Next. The merch heavily featured Japanese culture and many fans were not okay with that. Ariana faced even more backlash just a little while after when she shared a photo of her newest tattoo featuring Japanese characters. Some fans were angry with this because the tattoo didn't even spell out the words correctly. Instead of it saying seven rings, it translated into tiny barbecue. Fans held this against the singer saying that if she didn't know or understand the language, she shouldn't have gotten the tattoo in the first place. Ariana faced backlash for most of her new album's aesthetic because of its heavy Japanese influence even though it's not part of Ariana's culture. In at number 6, Kim Kardashian. Kim is no stranger to allegations of cultural appropriation. She's been facing backlash for her looks and aesthetics for years now. Many people are already against her wearing braids and cornrows as fans claim that she's appropriating black culture, but more recently she found herself getting more backlash following her debut shapewear line. Kim launched her brand Kimono and received a lot of hate for the name. People spoke out about how the name appropriated Japanese culture as the kimono is a form of formal wear and has heavy historical and cultural significance. After receiving so much hate for the name, Kim renamed the brand to Skims and tried to forget the whole ordeal. I understand that the original name was supposed to be a play on her name, but the kimono has already been so manipulated by western culture that I think it needs to be left alone. Happy through at number 5, Kylie Jenner. Kylie, much like her sister Kim, has also faced a lot of hate for her appearance. Many fans have called her out on multiple occasions for her appropriation of black culture. She faces backlash for wearing her hair in braids, cornrows, and twists all popular black hairstyles. She has also received hate for being seen wearing a do-rag. Her image raises a double standard where the hairstyles that she often wears would be seen more negatively if it were to be on a black woman rather than her as a white woman. Many people choose not to support Kylie for these reasons since she's been caught doing it so many times before. Coming in at number 4, Carly Kloss. Supermodel Carly Kloss came under fire back in 2012 for appropriating Native American culture. 
Fans watched as Carly walked down the runway at a Victoria's Secret fashion show wearing a Native American headdress, turquoise jewelry, as well as fringed animal print lingerie. Following the backlash, Victoria's Secret apologized for appropriating the culture and removed the outfit from the broadcast. Their decision to dress someone up like this was seen as incredibly disrespectful, not only for dressing someone of non-native descent in a headdress, but also because she was modeling in lingerie, which adds to the stereotypes placed on Native American women surrounding their sexuality. And at 3, Adele. We saw that Adele was recently in the news for appropriating African and Caribbean culture in a recent Instagram post. In the picture, we saw Adele posing wearing a Jamaican flag bikini and donning Bantu knots. The argument here was that the Bantu knot hairstyle is a predominantly black hairstyle, and the fact that Adele was wearing them was appropriating the culture. Now, come at me all you want, but I think she looks fine. She was wearing them to celebrate London's Black and Caribbean Festival. Now, if she were like, say, Kylie Jenner and always wearing her hair in black hairstyles, that would be problematic. But the fact that Adele did her hair like that and wore what she did, it was to celebrate black culture, not appropriate it. Nearing the end at number two, Katy Perry. Katy Perry has seen her fair share of cultural appropriation allegations in the past. In 2013 at the AMAs, Katy was seen dressed up like a geisha, complete with parasol, kimono, and pale makeup. This angered a lot of fans because she was appropriating the Japanese culture. But Katy moved on from this incident and on to another. The following year in 2014, Katy was accused of cultural appropriation once again, but this time for appropriating black culture. Fans were upset that Katy wore cornrows in her music video for her song This Is How We Do. Katy apologized for the incident and later discussed what happened on a Black Lives Matter podcast where she said, I won't ever understand some of the things because of who I am. I will never understand, but I can educate myself and that's what I'm trying to do along the way. She thanked her fans for holding her accountable and prompting her to learn from her actions. Finally in at number one, Gwen Stefani. Singer Gwen Stefani is certainly no stranger to receiving backlash following accusations of cultural appropriation. In the past, she's been accused of exploiting and fetishizing Japanese culture following the release of her album, Love Angel Music Baby, from back in 2004. As a trend to follow her new album, she hired a group of Harajuku girls to follow her around like an entourage. Although Gwen raves about her love and fascination for the culture, fans can't seem to get behind her strong appropriation of Japanese culture. To make matters worse for the singer, she was later seen wearing a bindi, an item from Hindu culture, and was credited for popularizing it amongst non-Hindu people. Not only did she offend Hindu people by wearing the bindi, but she was responsible for the appropriation of it amongst many others. She's also allegedly appropriated black and Latino cultures as well. Though all these instances happened in the early 2000s, she's never apologized for her actions and said in a 2019 interview that she continues to stand by her choices. Now before we end today's video, let's go ahead and read some of your comments. Maria underscore Maria says, Chadwick Boseman and Cameron Boyce had very bright futures ahead of them, may they rest in peace. Honestly, it was so heartbreaking to hear about both of their deaths last summer with Cameron and just a few weeks ago with Chadwick. It's unbelievably heartbreaking. M says, Naya Rivera, RIP, and anyone who puts their kid's life ahead of their own, no matter what happens, is the greatest hero in my opinion. She died a hero. Unfortunately, you know, she's not here to raise her son, but she saved his life and that's really like the best thing that she could have done. Frightmare Lord of the Nightmare says, Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever, my friend. Wakanda forever. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. While you're at it, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay groovy, friends. My leg is itchy. <laughs> Christ. The black hip hop culture in the video was mocked with a short, bleh. The black hip hop blah, 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 blah. The black hip hop culture in the video was mocked. Ha. Ah, I really hope that doesn't get bleeped either. The tattoo in the first place. Ari blah. Ariana faced a backlash from blah. Ariana faced ba blah. Ah. Ariana faced backlash for most of her new is a form of blah. as the kimono is a form of formal wear and was as the kimono is a form of formal wear and is heavily, eh, no, heavily, ah, and has heavy historical and cultural, oh my gosh, history, man. Coming in at number four, Carly Kloss. Supermodel Car, bleh, Carly Kloss.